Do you like to learn five interesting, thought-provoking and challenging general knowledge and current affairs related questions for dated 21st November 2022? Here, I am going to explain each question briefly. Are you ready? Here, you can see the first question. The walls and ceiling of the Sanctum Sanctorum of which temple have been given a new look with 550 gold layers very interesting question and also surprising also the walls and ceiling of the sanctum sanctorum of which temple have been given a new look with 550 gold layers here the options are somnath temple jagannath temple akshardham temple kedarnath temple which one you are guessing? If your guess answer is uh, the fourth one, that is uh, Kedarnath Temple, then you are right. Uh, I am adding some more interesting information about uh, Kedarnath Temple. Kedarnath Temple, that means in English, uh, Temple of the God of the Field, Kedarnath. It is a Hindu temple roughly 1200 years old, uh, dedicated to Lord Shiva. The temple is located on uh, the Garwal Himalayan range near the Mandakini river in the state of Uttarakhand, India. The walls and ceiling of the Sanctum Sanctorum have been given a new look with 550 gold layers. A six-member team from IIT Roorkee, Central Building Research Roorkee and the Archaeological Survey of India ASI visited Kedarnath Dham and uh, inspected the sanctum sanctorum of the temple. So, the walls uh, and ceiling of the sanctum sanctorum of uh, Kedarnath temple have given a new look uh, with 550 gold layers. So, I am clicking on fourth option Kedarnath temple. Bangan came here, that's right. And moving to the second question Which actor plays the role of uh, Avik San in the 2022 Hollywood film The Grey Man. Repeating the question, which actor plays the role of Avik San in the 2022 Hollywood film The Grey Man? Here the options are Dhanush, Silamba Rasan, Silamba Rasan, Surya, Vikram. Whom are you guessing? If your guest answer is the first one, that is Dhanush, then you are right. I am adding some more info about uh, The Grey Man. The Grey Man is uh, a 2022 American action thriller film directed by Anthony and uh, Joe Russo from a screenplay the latter co-wrote with uh, Christopher Marcus and uh, Stephen McFeely based on the 2009 novel of the same name by Mark Greeny. The film stars Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, Anna D. Armas, Julia Butters, Dhanush, etc. It is the first film in a, a franchise based upon Greeny's Greyman novels. Ryan Gosling acted as a six, Chris Evans as a Lloyd Hansen. Anna D. Armas as uh, Danny Miranda, Danush acted as uh, Avik San in uh, different roles. So, Danush actor plays the role of uh, Avik San in uh, the 2022 Hollywood film The G Grey Man. So, I am clicking on first option Danush. So, Bangan came here, that uh, right. Bangan came here, that's right. And moving to the third question, the largest and most powerful optical telescope in the space sent its uh, first images back to Earth in uh, 2022. What is it uh, named? Very interesting question and, al and also feast for science and technology students as well as those who have interest in uh, space research. Repeating the question. The largest and most powerful optical telescope in the space sent its first images back to Earth in 
in uh, 2022. What is uh, it named? Here the options are uh, Hubble Space Telescope, Extremely Large Webb Space Telescope, James Webb Space Telescope, Arecibo Space Telescope. Which one you are guessing? If your guess answer is the third one, that is uh, James Webb Space Telescope, then you are right. I am adding some more info. The James Webb Space Telescope, in short it is called JWST, JWST. It is a space telescope which conducts infrared astronomy. The telescope is named after James E. Webb who was the administrator of NASA from 1961 to 1968 during the Mercury, Gemini and Apollo programs. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on 25th December 2021. The first JWS3 image was released on 11th July 2022. This is a interesting information about the James Webb Telescope. So, the largest and most powerful optical telescope in the space center is the first images back to Earth in 2022. It named James Webb Space Telescope. So, I am clicking on third option, James Webb Space Telescope. So, that side came here. And moving to the fourth question and also first image of today's question, sir. This desert was originated in which country? Look at the image. Repeating. This desert was originated in which country? Here the options are Iceland, France, Austria, Ukraine. Which one you are guessing? If your guess answer is Austria, then you are right. I am adding some more info about the Austria. The Republic of Austria commonly just called as uh, Asia. It is a country in the southern part of Central Europe lying in the Eastern Alps, uh, ALPS. It is a federation of uh, nine states, uh, one of which is the capital Vienna, the most popular city and state. It has a population of uh, nine million. Do you know about the government type President and Chancellor names. So the government is a Federal Parliamentary Republic. The President name is Alexander Van der Bellen. And the Chancellor is Karl Nehammer. So this desert was originated in Austria. So I am clicking on third option Austria. So keep it up came here. And moving to the final question and also second image of today's question, sir. Who was uh, the first woman pilot of India? Very interesting question. And also feast for uh, those who, who are appearing for various competitive exams. Repeating the question. Who was uh, the first woman pilot of India? Here the options are uh, Gunjan Saxena, Bhavana Kanta, Riti Singh, Sarala Tukral, whom are you guessing? If your guess answer is uh, the fourth one, that is uh, Sarala Tukral, then you are right. I am adding some more info about uh, Sarala Tukral. Sarala Tukral was born on 8th August 1914 in uh, Delhi. She was among uh, the first Indian women to fly aircraft. Born in 1914, she earned uh, an aviation pilot license in uh, 1936 at uh, the age of 21 and flew a Gypsy Moth Solo, G-Y-P-S-Y, Gypsy M-O-T-H Moth S-O-L-O. So, she flew a Gypsy Moth Solo. After obtaining uh, the initial license, she preserved and completed 1000 hours of flying in the aircraft owned by the Lahore Flying Club. So, Sarala Tukral was uh, the first uh, woman pilot of uh, India. I think most of your guest answers right. Keep learning. 
enhance our wide and dynamic learning skills by watching regularly. So, Sarala Tukral. So, that side came here. Dhanyavad. Thank you. If you like this video, do like, subscribe and share. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.